The 10-step process to design umbrellas. If you can't find the kind of umbrella you like anywhere, you can create a design. After designing it, you can then send it out to a manufacturer to bring them to life. 1. Make a sketch. To design umbrellas, you must have an idea of what you want in your head already. You must have imagined every detail of it so that you can reproduce your imagination on a piece of paper. When you become sure of what you want, you can then sketch it on a piece of paper. Your sketch is like a first draft, so it doesn't need to be perfect. 2. Choose your umbrella frame size. An umbrella frame refers to the umbrella's structure, it includes the handles, ribs, and shaft. In more precise terms, the frame is to an umbrella what a skeleton is to a human. There are different frame sizes you can choose from. There are the compact manual, compact auto, full-size standard, and large gold sizes. 3. Choose the type of print effect. When you design umbrellas, deciding the type of print effect is vital to the process. You can decide to go with a basic logo imprint or a fully custom umbrella. When choosing print effects, you must also determine if you want the print on the umbrella exteriors or interiors. 4. Download umbrella design templates. As a novice, explanations can't help you design umbrellas as much as a template would. Except you're a designer, creating an umbrella design without a comprehensive model to follow would be extremely difficult. 5. Create the design or artwork. An umbrella artwork is a design you want on your umbrella. It can be geometric, floral, intricate, or minimalistic. Depending on the purpose of your umbrella, it can also be your company logo. After creating your artwork, the next step is to broaden the objects and save them as a copy and vector EPS. Saving your artwork as a vector PDF, AI, or EPS makes it easy to resize them without losing its sharpness or resolution. 6. Choose your fabric. In designing your custom umbrella, you are at liberty to choose the fabric type you want. Your fabric choice should match the purpose you need the umbrella for. There are polyester, pongee, satin, UV fabrics, and lots more. If you want a color fabric to produce your design umbrella, we can help you with a range of colored materials to choose from. 7. Pay attention to layering and color patterns. One crucial tip or process you can't ignore when you design umbrellas is layering and color patterns. Your artwork should be detailed and bold. Avoid hairlines, small fonts, gradients, and shading as much as possible, especially if you want digital printing. 8. Create your final layout. Like with other processes, a layout option can affect the overall costs. For example, the layout of your print artwork, if it's a photographic image across all eight panels, is more expensive than repeating panels. Two-layer umbrellas are also more costly than single layers. 9. Choose your printing option. The three most common printing options are the screen, digital, and dye sublimation printing types. With screen printing, we create a mesh using a stencil and use it to transfer ink to the umbrella. Digital printing is different from screen printing because of its transfer mode. While screen printing uses mesh to transfer ink, digital printing uses heat. The advantage of digital printing is that it isn't as time-consuming as other methods. It's also suitable for printing colored patterns. However, it's pretty expensive. In dye sublimation, we use sublimation ink on the umbrella. This printing option ensures that prints last longer than many other types. 10. Save your designs with the right file types. Finally, it's time to save your designs and send them to use for production. It's best to save graphics images and logos in Illustrator formats. Also, use Pantone registered colors to match print colors to aid clarity of design. File types like JPEGs and GIFs have low resolution and can affect the quality of your umbrellas. Thanks for watching.